be Katie and today I'm going to be talking about things to keep you on track while you're at school with college or I guess even high school. But if you close your eyes semester I took a class about like studying skills and how to stay on track in your schoolwork if you get behind or anything like that and I learned some five little tasks that I'm going to be talking about that I found really helpful so if I find myself in the predicament where I feel like I can't do this anymore there's certain strategies you can use to make yourself get back on track so the first thing I'd like to talk about is self-awareness. Um, this kind of comes from just realizing what you are doing wrong or not exactly wrong but what you can change about yourself that will help you get the grades that you want. For example what I like to do is at the beginning of a week, any week, just anything, you're gonna make out a huge calendar and then you're gonna mark out stuff that you do. So how much time do you spend sleeping? How much time do you spend eating? How much time do you spend going out to friends? How much time do you spend at practice? How much time do you spend at your clubs? How much time you spend doing laundry? Anything. Everything and anything that you do, put it on the calendar and just mark out your block times. And then see how much time you actually spend studying and working towards the grades you want and then you can start adjusting according to that which kind of leads into my next bullet point of personal responsibility you can stare at what you're doing wrong forever but the goal is for you to change it you have to take responsibility you have to start doing things to help further your grade like you have to say okay I need help and my kind of problem goes with time management or organization so how I take responsibility of it is that I come to my third point is how dealing with time management and organization. Um, so usually from the schedule that I have out, I usually know what times I should be studying. So I plan out every single day a time I need to study. So for example, today is Tuesday. So usually I'm doing homework, I'm doing stuff to work after my bio class because I have a break from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock, so I'm usually doing studying. Um, another thing I do when it comes to time management is getting your calendar and writing down everything you're doing for the whole entire semester. Um, this includes finals, midterms, if you're going home a certain weekend, if you're going on vacation somewhere, if just the most thing, just things that you know that are going to happen so you can plan accordingly your studies around it. And then one more thing I like to do with my calendar is I do uh, kind of like a weekly to-do list because I feel like once you're in the swing of things and classes and stuff like that, it becomes hard for you to realize. You like forget about those big projects, you know? Like I have a huge documentary project, so we have, so I made myself individual deadlines to make sure I get it done. So on my to-do list, it'll be like finish 20 photos by the end of the week you know and I'll have it like that to help me keep on track to not forget about those big things and the same thing can work if you have tinier projects so let's say oh math paper due on Thursday so you just do a little I don't know you just write it down on a list and then you have little check marks next thing I would like to switch into is something that I think people forget is having a growth mindset and there's, there's two different kinds of mindsets. There's a fixed mindset and there's a growth mindset. A fixed mindset is very much of like, I'm not good at this. I'm never going to get better. Where a growth mindset is more as that like, how can I get better? What can I do to make myself grow? It's like it's things like that. And it really changes your perspective on the world if you keep that growth mindset with everything you do. And I know it's like super easy to get into that fixed mindset kind of mode, but you have to try your hardest to keep that growth mindset even when it gets really hard and you get overly stressed out. Which transitions to my next bullet point, stress management. I stress out a lot, that's just like my personality, I'm just like a stressor and an overthinker. So some of the things that I like to do to kind of like calm me down. The first one is talking to somebody. Um, 
usually when I'm stressed out, I talk to my mom or I talk to my dad and I just tell them how stressed out I am. And it really helps, like it makes you like get all your thoughts out of your head. Um, I also heard in my bio class that if you leave, you know, if you are overly stressed, the best thing to do is to be by trees. Which is crazy because I'm an Appalachian so I'm surrounded by trees. So it says just be like, just sitting outside by a tree will make you feel better. Which, I don't know, I haven't been stressed enough that I have to walk out and stand by a tree yet, but I'll keep you updated on how that one goes. And then my last tech, my last little thing to help you de-stress is getting it done, you know? If you, some, sometimes the best way to de-stress yourself is just like getting to the library and actually getting it done. Because I've been guilty of where I just get overstressed, where I just don't want to do it anymore and I'll just like give up and be like, no, I'm done, I'm not going to do it anymore, I'm just going to push it off. But that actually stresses you out like 10 times more, which is not the best strategy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. These are just some things that I learned in my time management class that I'm taking this semester and some and I've learned them from other classes of like little techniques that I've learned and went through but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it helps somebody out there and thank you for watching so much bye